My project is Age of Empires for mobile platforms. So my idea came from sort of a, a deep interest in sort of game development and mobile development. It's really nice to have sort of instant gratification with mobile development and there's a lot of job opportunities which is always interesting. And the reason I decided to go for Age of Empires is because it's a proven to be a very popular game and I wanted to prove that uh, the mobile platform can be a viable platform for uh, games in the future. So my project was Bump, which is pothole detection. My idea came from um, my own personal experience driving around in a car and encountering potholes that haven't been fixed for a long time. The technologies used um, are the accelerometer and the GPS sensors in a smartphone, which would be used to detect uh, the location and the accuracy of the pothole. I see my project being used um, by local authorities and county councils in the maintenance and the repair of of potholes. My idea came about after I worked in Renishaw on an interplacement and so I worked there for six months and during my time there they kind of introduced um, an equator device to me and they mentioned that there was a couple of issues with their current method of measuring the belt tensions. They said would you be interested in doing um, a project on this and I said sure why not. I have developed a concept, something that can be worked on further so I've kind of mentioned in my report different things that can be expanded on um, so I've left lots of suggestions there. My project is called Flexible Internet Controlled Robot Platform. When doing research for the project I got really interested in sort of the Linux community and their values of I guess making, like getting the community involved to develop things um, and making everything kind of open source and freely available. Because recently um, microprocessors and robotics kind of equipment and technology has all become uh, a lot cheaper and more available to people. The problem is that you still need really strong hardware and software skills to be able to use it. Um, so my project is kind of, it's, it's about I guess taking, taking those skill requirements out so that everyone can, can make their own robots. The reason I find the expo so interesting is um, it's a chat, there is a very broad range of students um, presenting in the college and uh, you know, we'd have a very varied variety of requirements for uh, graduates. Another thing that's really helpful about the expo is that they send you the booklet in digital format so I can go and I can review all of the students and all of their projects before I come here and I have a good idea of the students that I'm attracted to so it gives me a chance to target my time on speaking to students who, um, who I know would be useful for our company. I've been coming to the expo for the last four years um, and every year there's always a really good variety of students on offer. Um, the second year I came here, uh, three years ago, um, we actually hired one of the students um, who had a particular um, focus on HTML development, which we had a requirement for at the time. I find the expo very helpful because it sort of let me practice my pitch for my project before the actual demonstration itself. It uh, got me a few contacts with places that will be using technologies that I've sort of catered to. I've had a lot of people talking to me about you know companies that that have come in and my project has actually applied to them and they've been suggesting you know different things and asking how this would apply to their company. The Expo today has been great as it's given us an opportunity to meet employers and, and businesses that are interested in the idea. I find meeting the employers quite helpful. It was uh, very interesting to see uh, how they react to us when we're sort of in our environment. So we get to talk about what we wanted to do projects on, which was sort of interesting. And you get to speak to the employers that naturally gravitate towards what you're interested in, which is uh, a sort of, I think it benefits both of you to get a good match for employer and employee. There has been a lot of interest from, I guess, companies that I hadn't heard of before um, or places I hadn't thought of applying to before. The company Ranishaw that my project is based on, they actually came in today too, so it was nice to kind of see them looking at um, the progress of the project. Um, there was also a lot of other um, employers, so it was nice meeting them and just chatting away to them. I've got great feedback on my project and also um, potential improvements that could be made to the project. Yeah, so next year I will be I'm um, working in industry and um, I've been offered a job by Renishaw so I'm going over to the UK to work on their graduate program for two years so I look forward to that. So I'd like to travel a little bit. Uh, having a computing degree gives me the ability to work in any country really. It's a very transferable skill so I can see myself in America in a year for uh, a short time. For my intro placement I worked at SAP last year and I've now been given an opportunity to um, to start with the company again when I finish my fourth year so I'll be, I'll be starting again in the next few weeks. The job I'm going to start in next year is Intel in Shannon. 
Um, so it's it's R and D. Um, it's embedded systems. So it's kind of it's a mix. It's it's software, but it's still kind of closer to engineering than than a lot of software jobs. Oh, I love DCU. Obviously, engineering is very tough. It's four years and of hard hard work and long hours. But overall, I feel like it's quite an achievement. I really enjoyed my time at DCU. The lecturers are very engaging, very enjoyable. You're part of something too with DCU. The last year, I've hardly left the place, you know. But everyone kind of bonds, and everyone works, everyone works together as a group. So it's nice. I absolutely think DCU is the right choice. I believe there's a lot of um, modules that really uh, help uh, get you jobs when you actually leave. And the uh, actual campus itself is very, very nice.